welcome to Stefan TV One. My name is Stefan Fortune. Here's my friend Austin Mendoza. Yo, we are here to give you guys a. Go ahead, please continue. We are here to give you guys a serious news brief. According to the facts, Austin. These are now the facts. They're very ugly facts. We yes. Know. Okay. But yes, we are here to give you something very important. Simba has done it again. He's created yet another offspring for Pride Rock. Who will be coming out in the new movie, The Lion Guard, which is also going to be made into a new show for the Lion King franchise. Yes. Um, if you do not um, know this, this will be his third child. Um, the first one, nobody ever talks about. And no, it is not Kiara. That's what everyone is, that's what we're here to explain. Kiara is actually the second child. Though the movies apparently made her the firstborn child of Simba. But here is something that no one has not known. The Lion King, as soon as the movie had stopped, didn't know they were going to be so popular. So a bunch of books came out and actually gave Simba his first son, also his first child, named Copa. Not Kiara. Kiara only came in the movies. But they didn't have a story for her. what's his face? Copa. Copa. So Kiara then got a tragic love story about her and Kovu. Because apparently lions have a thing of K's. Really? Kovu, Kiara, Copa, come on. <laughs> come on, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Scar. That's a K in Scar. No, it's not. In my spelling there is. But yes, apparently all his children have K's in it. Yeah, pretty much. That's the children. But apparently, since the books are like after the Lion King first movie, why didn't they bring Copa to the sequels or any other Lion King franchise? That, my friends, is why we hypo we theorize theorize is a better word. We theorize that they just didn't have a story for him. Because as being the next prince is not really after the defeat of Scar, everything else. Wait, yeah, they could have incorporated him into um, Kiara's story, but they didn't. I wonder why. Thank you, Disney. <laughs> I did a little my, research, and it said that... Ruining my childhood. <laughs> I did a little research, and it said Disney never knew about him, so for the sequel, they made up Kiara. He was never even known by any of the makers for the sequel that and Disney claims that they have no rights to him since he's only a book character and apparently book universes and movie mo universes are not connected but if you look at really any type of copyright the book people still have to get permission from Disney to write books about their franchise or anything about that matter that anything that has to do with that name yes and so to be realistic Copa is a part of Disney, they just didn't want to hear a story about him. Or, and some still claim that they either have no rights or they still never heard of him. Understandable, a lot of people has it. But, For Disney, Copa? Copa is Simba's first son and first child. And there has been a rumor going around that he actually left to start his own pride. Which is crazy since we never heard of him to begin with. But, if you think about it, that could be where the Lion Guard comes in. No, but the Lion Guard brings in someone new. And Are you sure? Yes. Why can't he be a part of that, that, that group? Because... Maybe he found another group and then that's, he's trying to reconnect with his father. What? But he's a part of it. Kind of like, if you've ever seen... Um, Alpha and Omega. Kind of like that. Yes, but but the new son Keon, that's his name. Keon, that's his new name. The new son the case. <laughs> the new son Keon is actually having his own franchise of his own, still in the Lion King franchise. So he has no connection with Copa whatsoever, because Copa apparently still has nothing to do with the movie franchise. So basically, they're not. Simba has a son that he doesn't know about. But only in the books. Okay. So him having absolutely nothing to do with Copa is a very big concern for me. 
because if you don't remember why Mufasa was king instead of Scar, it was because he was born afterwards. Copa could be the next Scar. I would think about it. He wants to he if he left, that means he wanted to be the 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 king of a certain tribe. Him coming back, let's say in 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 what are they called? The movie? Yeah, in the movie could have something to do with his rightful place on the throne. But I did research and apparently We need your research. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a news brief, isn't it? I was told about this in brief three minutes ago, I don't know. Whatever. Basic but I did research and it said Lion King fanatic. <laughs> he is. But I did research and it said Copa is actually more like Simba when he was a child, bearing a really strong resemblance to him as well. So he has nothing like Scar in like any way. More like twins, but less look alike, because Copa is a little darker. But you know what they say? Craziness. Like father, like son? No, craziness skips a generation. Well, it, it skipped Simba. And it skipped his children, apparently. Almost. You gotta remember the offspring of Nala and um, Kofu could be kind of like Scar as well. Nala and Kofu? I said Nala, didn't I? Yes, I meant Scar and, and fanfic is me like. <laughs> Which is also crazy because Kiara is younger in the new movie coming out. That would be before she okay. met Kofu. Yes. Okay. Which is still going to be. Wait weird. a minute, then where was. <laughs> Again, conspiracies. Where was this child? Who, <laughs> Copa or the new one? The new one. When the new one came out like years after. But how? It, okay. You see, Disney, you're confusing we're gonna, your we're, fans. We're gonna we're gonna have to start this again because do you see the time? No, we're no. basically done. Now, Disney, basically, you're confusing your fans and you're hurting us by not giving us the facts. Simba has a son that you're never gonna use. Or Why? maybe, maybe we don't know yet. We don't know if they're gonna use him or not. Well, until then, Walt Disney is very rich. They they ruin everything like Cartoon Network. But <laughs> now Cartoon Network ruined themselves. Yeah, Cartoon Network did. All right, all to the point. Luckily, luckily, the Lion King's not airing on Cartoon Network. Yes, but we will keep watching if the sun ever comes out. Until then, they we're watching make, you, Disney. They, they would make Simba look like a goddamn crap addict. <laughs> So Simba, like Scooby Doo. You're a very neglectful father. Sorry, Simba. We hail to you, but now Simba, Simba turns out to be like Mufasa just dead by Antelope. <laughs> no, not the chameleon. <laughs> you know what? Hakuna Matata. Adios. Since.